the library. It is time for Pepper and George to go to bed. I'm not sleepy, says Pepper. Please, can we have a story? OK, says Mummy Pig. I'll read you The Red Monkey. Pepper sighs. But we always have that one. Pepper finds another book on her bookshelf. What's this one, she asks. It's The Wonderful World of Concrete, says Mummy Pig. I've been looking for that, says Daddy Pig. It's my library book, but I forgot to take it back. Please can Daddy read us some of his story, asks Pepper. Concrete is a construction material composed of sand, water and chemical admixtures, Daddy Pig reads. When Daddy Pig looks up from the page, everyone has fallen asleep, including Mummy Pig. In the morning, Pepper and her family go to the library. The library is a big building filled with books. Wow, says Pepper loudly, what a lot of books. Shh, you must be quiet in the library, whispers Daddy Pig. This is where people come to read. Miss Rabbit works in the library. Hello, Mummy Pig, says Miss Rabbit. Are you here to borrow some books? Yes, but first we have one book to return, says Mummy Pig. She hands Miss Rabbit the wonderful world of concrete. Miss Rabbit scans Daddy Pig's book. An alarm goes off. Daddy Pig, says Miss Rabbit, you've had this book out of the library for ten years. Daddy, gasps Pepper. Sorry, Miss Rabbit, says Daddy Pig, going very red. Miss Rabbit, can George and I borrow a book, please, asks Pepper. Of course you can, Pepper, says Miss Rabbit. The children's section is over here. Miss Rabbit shows Pepper and George a colourful corner of the library. The library is full of exciting books for children. Pepper finds a book about fairies. George finds a book about dinosaurs. Hello, Pepper, says Danny Dog. I'm borrowing a book about football. I'm borrowing a book about nurses, says Susie Sheep. Look, Pepper, says Mummy Pig, a red monkey book. But we've read that one, says Pepper. Not this one, says Mummy Pig, opening it. Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. He jumped in a space rocket and went to the moon. Wow, read it again, cries Pepper. We can borrow it and read it at home, says Mummy Pig. But I was going to get one about the fairy, says Pepper. You can take out three books if you like, says Miss Rabbit. Everyone has chosen a book to borrow from the library. Look what I found, says Daddy Pig. Further adventures in concrete. You must remember to bring that one back, Daddy Pig, says Mummy Pig. I'll make sure he remembers, says Pepper. Yes, Pepper, says Daddy Pig. I'm sure you will. Mm -hmm.